How's it going, Photo Booth family? Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a custom home button on your iPad so you can use guided access without having to take apart your photo booth if you don't have easy access to your home button because the newer iPads don't have the home button on the screen. They have it up here. A lot of photo booths don't have you know easy access to the iPads to get to the home button. So this will save you a ton of time, make it super convenient. So let's go. All right, everybody. So we, now we have the iPad inside of the photo booth shell, just so you can get a better visual of what I'm talking about. There's no home button on the screen for this iPad. The newer iPads won't have that. So this is a big deal because if you want to use guided access, let's just say you want to launch your software and you don't want people to be able to exit out of it, right? So let's just say it's a drop off. The last thing you want is that to happen. So usually you have a home button. If you can use the home button to access it, you can literally lock the software in, but the home button is up top in here and it's not accessible. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to do that. Your first step, you hit the system menu right here, the settings menu, I mean. Next up, what you wanna do is activate guided access. You go down to the accessibility. You go to where it says guided access. You'll see that right here. Then you turn it on. Next step is go to passcode settings. Then you wanna hit set guided access passcode. Make sure you remember this, super important. I'm just gonna use all fives. Now we've set up guided access. We're gonna go back, back to accessibility. Now we're gonna look for, under physical and mo uh, motor, the touch button, where it says touch. You wanna to go to assistive touch. You wanna turn that on. So now you see right here, we now have our digital home button. That's what we're gonna be doing. So next step up, you guys, customize top level menu. These are all the functions that you can use as your home button, but we're using this for a photo booth, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove these by hitting the minus sign, and then where it says gestures or whatever button is left, make sure you click that and you select accessibility shortcut. Perfect. Little bonus tip here. We're gonna go down to where it says uh, the idle opacity. Normally it would be a little bit higher, right? And what this means is when this button's not being used, you can actually make it more transparent. So I like to make sure this thing is all the way down because I don't want people to be able to see it and the less visible, the better. So now we have this set up. Now let's go ahead and go to our software, Luma Booth, and you can see it right here. I like to move it down to the corner if we use this and how to activate it. It's literally as simple as press it, guided access started. So now cannot exit the app. So this is perfect for anyone doing drop-offs or anyone that just doesn't want people to be able to slide it up and you wanna save time. And it literally, now when you come back to your event or if you wanna end it, you just hit that button, put in your passcode, right? The all fives, we're gonna hit end to the top left and we're done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, make sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And if you're looking to get started into the photo booth business or to add a kick-ass iPad photo booth, go to my company website, photobooth101.com. We sell photo booths, backdrops, props, printers. Also, we have an online community of other photo booth entrepreneurs waiting for you as soon as you join. So photobooth101.com, let's go.